<laughs> That's what the LC500 is all about today. We're going to take it on a date review and have a lot of fun with this beautiful grand touring convertible from Lexus that looks like it's from the future. <laughs> this vehicle is something truly special for Lexus. Not only do we get, we don't have any other convertibles in the lineup, uh, but it gives us a direct shot to the V8, which is one of the, the, like the high points of Lexus, the five liter V8. It's given to us from the gods of Mount Fuji. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. And it did sound great in the coupe form, but it's so much better here and the convertible because there's nothing separating us from the exhaust pipe back there. But let's start with the looks of this vehicle. The looks of it are very impressive. Of course, they've taken this vehicle from concept to production with very little changes. And this vehicle should have come out with the convertible since the very beginning. Instead, we've had the coupe since 2018 and it wasn't until 2021 until Lexus finally gave us the, the perfect version of this car, the convertible. So it looks very similar to the coupe. I mean, they changed the, uh, the third braking light to be on the, the, the trunk lid instead of, you know, up on the roof for the coupe but it looks even better than the coupe in my opinion. And whether you have the top up or the top down, it's, it's a, just a gorgeous looking car that you'll never feel ashamed of being in. Speaking of being in the car itself, the interior, everyone knows that the LC500 has amazing interior. The convertible takes it to the next level. The headrests have heaters in them, which I don't need in the summer in Florida time, but in the winter time, It'll heat the necks of the occupants in the car. That is crazy. They have made some changes in here. Typically you see Alcantara on the doors. Instead, they've replaced it with this checkerboard style that kind of reminds me of like Sonic the Hedgehog sort of patterning. And then up here is typically Alcantara as well. And they've replaced it with a harder, more durable material. There is no sport package in this convertible, so you're not gonna get Alcantara on the seats, which is fine for me. These are a little bit more comfortable. And there's no Alcantara on the leather steering wheel, which is fine for me because it's gonna last a little bit longer. Now, although the interior is just incredible in this caramel, it does, it does have some drawbacks. We do have finally Apple CarPlay Android Auto in here, but there's no touchscreen. And just trying to get into the climate control, like to turn on the heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, and the heated uh, headrest, you have to fumble through the menus with the touchpad. It's an absolute nightmare and it takes forever to do. I cannot wait for there to be one, a touchscreen, and two, to be dedicated buttons for the climate control for the heating and cooling uh, specifics in this vehicle. But outside of that, if you can get past the small limitations like the, the buttons not being physically present to, to do the climate control, uh, this vehicle is nearly perfect, but I actually took one of these things the LC convertible on the track at Eagles Canyon Raceway for HQ Confidential H aka ToyotaCon and I had so much fun. It's heavy. It's kind of soft compared to the coupe But just being able to hear the V8 at all times and just ring it out on a track was just absolutely amazing and that's something You probably can't do on the daily basis, but you can always enjoy the downshifts in this vehicle on a daily basis. And that's one of the best things about the LC500. And then it's even better here in the coupe. So we'll try to get into the downshifts here. That growl sounds so amazing. It's just effortless to just have that next level of integration with the vehicle. Cassie just said the AC from the small vents in here feels really good. And I agree. Like. <laughs> you can't have a convertible in Florida without having the AC on full blast. Like that's just the reality of the heat down here. So I'm feeling the AC very well and it's nice to have the ventilated seats. It's like, I feel like they're next level strong because my shirt literally feels like it's rip rippling and vibrating 
with <laughs> the force of the, uh, the wind blowing into my back. So you get the full concierge experience in here. So you might be thinking, Kirk, this vehicle is super impractical. And compared to like a bunch of crossovers around me, that's probably true. But <laughs> compared to my next favorite convertible, which is the MX-5, this is far more practical. No, it doesn't come with a manual, but I took it to Trader Joe's for our family uh, weekly grocery haul. And there's no way I would be, be able to do it in the MX-5 without taking up most of the seats. The trunk, although it's small, I was able to fit three grocery bags in there. And then the second trunk, AKA the second row of seats, which is not usable in any way for human beings. I'm not, like, I put my kids in every single vehicle that has second row or third row of seats not this one their legs would not have any room and their legs are this big so despite that the second row of seats is actually your second trunk so i was able to fit the groceries and still have tons of room not even taking up the front passenger seat with groceries so it's actually more usable than you would think for a convertible and even that second row of seats Lexus has spared no detail there. You have the Mark Levinson subwoofer in there. You have the beautiful stitching on the, I guess you would, you would call them headrests. It's just impressive that Lexus is like, you know, people are gonna be looking back there because it's a convertible. So we need to make it look just as good as the front. So even though this is a very sporty, super futuristic looking vehicle, it's still a Lexus. I have it in comfort mode right now. So this has adaptive variable suspension. And in comfort mode, I just feel like we're on a cloud floating away. It's very comfortable. And this is something I could easily take across the country, especially in the summertime, because then I could, you know, drop the top whenever I wanted to. Yeah, if I want to get into it a little bit more, twist it to Sport Plus, downshift a couple times. You can have whatever experience you want in this vehicle, whether it's cruising, comfortable, or taking a little bit more aggressive approach, ringing out the V8. It's just an amazing vehicle and it's probably the best Lexus available. The unfortunate aspect of it, not everyone has the budget for an extra vehicle in their, in their garage, let, or, let alone a $115,000 budget for a, a niche product, but man, it is something that Lexus has nailed. But we'll get into more of the performance end and have a little bit more fun with this engine on the way back after we finish our date. Now as we're leaving our date area, we saw Ferraris, Aston Martins, Porsches, Mercedes. This LC definitely can swing with the likes of cars that are way more expensive. The interior, I just saw a look in this Ferrari California. The interior in here can stand toe to toe with it. I mean, maybe not, uh, this, there's a little bit more stitching I would say in the Ferrari, but the average person is gonna just be like, wow, look how good this interior looks so it can definitely stand toe to toe even even as i'm passing uh, a tycon turbo this vehicle feels right at home here and stands at the top on the top pedestal even though it's a japanese car it doesn't have in theory the prestige as the germans but man it doesn't matter people were walking by this car and they couldn't stop looking at it as we pass, pass a 911 turbo convertible this thing feels right at home here as you guys know, Florida stop, maybe you guys don't know, but Florida stoplights, at least where I live, they last a quarter century. So when you're in a car like this, you're just chomping at the bit, waiting to get a chance to rev this V8 off the rev limiter, which we're about ready to do it right now. But that's realistic because <laughs> once you do that, you're already up to the speed of traffic. 
So you definitely want to have wide open spaces to be able to do this more, I guess, wide open throttle for longer, but uh, it's just so darn enjoyable. We're gonna do it again and go. <laughs> this is so against anything that is like traditional Lexus, but it makes it arguably the most special Lexus since the LFA to be produced. I could give you guys zero to 60 times. It's not that like incredible, like the RCF that I had the other week, that's gonna be faster zero to 60. Like to me, it's not about zero to 60 times with this car. It's about enjoying the open top. It's a, the, imper the perfect interior that is the LC, despite, you know, the lack of touchscreen, but that's, that's just plagues Lexus in general. Being able to <laughs> balance a five liter V8 off the rev limiter whenever you want is, it's worth the price of admission. I know this car is expensive as hell, but being able to do that, being able to hear it, be able to just experience this raw car and a most elegant, expensive, luxury-like package is just amazing. And the only way you can find a car like this is probably in an Aston Martin that's gonna cost two to three times as much and not gonna be nearly as reliable. So the LC500, here we go again. <laughs> I guess to, to sum it up, because I'm not gonna do a, a full review on this car because I'm just gonna drive it like I would if I were to have this car. What does that mean? Well, it's taking my wife out on a date. It's enjoying beautiful South Florida with the top down. It's putting it back into comfort mode to enjoy the, the more Lexus side of this vehicle. There's not enough words to describe this car. It's raw, it's refined, it's luxurious, it's sporty. Arguably, most importantly, it is beautiful. And guys, I'll end it there. I'll see you in the comments. I have not got into the like the nitty gritty, the 471 horsepower, the 10 speed automatic. I don't need to. I guess I wanted to portray the feelings this car will give you. And if you own this car or, or get a chance to drive it, you're just gonna have a grin on your face the entire time. So guys, I'll see you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. Smash the like button. If you like the LC500, if you don't have a soul, maybe don't smash the like button, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.